right so beta blockers we have non selective beta blockers and as well as the selective beta blockers right selective beta blockers now after having finished about the non selective beta blockers now let me discuss about the selective beta blockers in that selective beta blockers we have the cardio selective beta blockers right we have cardio selective beta blockers this particular cardio selective beta blockers they are beta 1 blockers that is within the heart if you see like you have the beta 1 receptors right within the heart what you have is the beta 1 receptors so if this particular beta 1 receptors are blocked right if this beta 1 receptors which are present within the heart are selectively blocked they are called as the cardio selective beta blockers right and these cardio selective beta blockers they are the second generation beta blockers right they are the second generation beta blockers now let me tell you what are the drugs which are present in this group right you can remember the drugs in this group in the form of a mnemonic right so the mnemonic is new beta blockers right new beta blockers acting exclusively at myocardium right acting exclusively right acting exclusively at myocardium now let me tell you what is this the word n stands for nebevilol right the word n stands for nebevilol so if you take this nebevilol this nebevilol it is the most cardio selective right among all the cardio selective drugs this is the most cardio selective that is nebevilol you take b b stands for bitoxylol right b stands for the bitoxylol and apart from bitoxylol we have another b that is bisoprolol that is bisoprolol next you take a a stands for ac butylol right a stands for ac butylol you take e the word e stands for esmolol right the word e stands for esmolol next you take a a stands for atenolol and you take m m is your metoprolol right m is your metoprolol then you take c c stands for seliprolol right c stands for seliprolol so these are your cardio selective beta blockers n is nebevilol b is bitoxylol b is another bisoprolol a stands for ac butylol e is esmolol a atenolol m metoprolol c seliprolol and among all these drugs the most cardio selective beta blocker is your nebevilol nebevilol is the most cardio selective beta blockers now let me tell you the advantages of the cardio selective beta 1 blockers now a very very important point is you take the non selective beta blockers non selective beta blockers they were causing bronchoconstriction 
because of the beta 2 blockade and that is the reason why they were contraindicated in patients with bronchial asthma. But whereas these cardioselective beta 1 blockers they don't have any effect on the beta 2 receptors that is the reason why these drugs are safe in asthma. Right, that is the reason why these drugs are safe in asthma. Next, the another important point is you take the non selective beta blockers, they were abolishing the sympathetic symptoms or the warning signs in diabetic patients. So, that is the reason why we have discussed that non selective beta blockers are contraindicated in diabetic patients, whereas the beta 1 blockers they do not have the abolishment of the warning signs in diabetic patients. So that is the reason why these are safe in diabetics. Right? They will also not cause the prevention of the reversal of hypoglycemia. You take the non-selective beta blockers. Non-selective beta blockers there was delay in the reversal of the hypoglycemia because of the beta 2 blockade. But these cardioselective beta 1 blockers they do not have the effect on beta 2 receptors. So, there is no delay in the reversal of hypoglycemia right next and what we have discussed is the non selective beta blockers they are contraindicated in patients with Raynaud's disease which is a peripheral vascular disease why because of the beta 2 blockade property which will cause vasoconstriction whereas these drugs they are safe in peripheral vascular disease right safe in peripheral vascular disease next next we have discussed that Non-selective beta blockers because of the beta 2 blockade they cause the vasoconstriction of the blood vessels which are supplying to the skeletal muscles right because of the beta 2 blockade there is vasoconstriction of the blood vessels supplying to the skeletal muscles due to which the individual suffers from impaired exercise capacity. So these individuals with non-selective beta blockers they develop the impaired exercise capacity whereas you take the beta 1 blockers they are less likely to impair the exercise capacity. Right less likely to impair exercise capacity. Next the another important point is these beta 1 blockers they also have very less risk of hyperglycemia right less risk of hyperglycemia not only less risk of hyperglycemia with these drugs remember they also have less risk of dyslipidemia right less risk of dyslipidemia so these are the advantages of these drugs right so remember the cardio selective beta 1 blockers they are safe in patients with asthma safe in diabetics safe in patients with peripheral vascular disease and they are less likely to impair the exercise capacity and they have even less risk of hyperglycemia and less risk of even dyslipidemia so this is about the advantages of selective beta blockers